Welcome back to the MTD channel. We have some story for you today. I'm here in Huddersfield outside of uh, Reliance Precision. We're here on behalf of Zeiss. This is a story you cannot afford to miss. Uh, if you're interested in companies that like to do work that others don't, then you need to keep watching. Uh, David, this is, uh, they're very privileged, aren't they, your apprentices? They certainly are, yeah, they get all the best kit, um, so replication of what's up in the factory, up in the shop floor. Uh, firstly, could you just tell us a little bit about the history of the company and uh, what you do here at Reliance? Yeah, so Reliance is a, a, a SME based in Huddersfield, uh, family owned. Um, we're coming up to our centenary year. Um, Reliance produce uh, components and assemblies for lots and lots of different uh, customers. Do a lot for the aerospace, medical side of business, um, space, and life sciences. And it's fair to say you don't get involved in run-of-the-mill work, do you? You do things that other people don't really want to do or can't do. That's right. Yeah, we're we're dealing in the, the small batch size, high precision, high accuracy uh, components and assemblies. So. And that's really where this story starts today because also be interesting for our viewers to hear about your role here, uh, what you do at Reliance. So I'm the head of metrology. I run a team of 13 inspectors. Um, I'm looking after all the investment for new machinery in terms of metrology and inspection. We are in, I'm, I'm involved in all the day-to-day -day running of the inspection department. So we see every component from every point in its life cycle from the beginning in a design phase all the way through to shipping to the final customer. And involved in metrology, uh, aptly here we have a machine from Zeiss. Yep. Uh, tell us about your relationship with them and why you've opted uh, for their solutions. So we started our relationship in about 2014 when we purchased our first machine. Um, that went after a long um, phase of testing all the different competitors' machines. We actually chose Zeiss based on their heritage um, the quality of the machine build and the service and support that they offered. Now this specific model here, could you tell us about this machine here and some of the reasons that it features in your tool room? Yes, yeah, so this is a Duramax machine. Um, it is a small footprint. Um, it's a 500 millimeter cube machine. It's able to withstand the environment of the shop floor. So although we are temperature controlled all throughout Reliance, um, we need a rugged machine that's going to be able to last within the shop floor environment. It does sit in that very small footprint, but it does have a 500 millimetre working envelope, I believe. Yeah, so it's, it fits our sort of product, product size very well. Um, so we don't tend to make anything above 500 millimetres or very small quantities of, so it fits well within our product range. So this machine is ideal for the shop floor environment, isn't it? Does it have like a, a low power consumption and, and how is it powered? Is it single phase? Yeah, it's single phase, uh, no air required. So this machine doesn't have to be set up to a, uh, an air feed in any way. Um, it can even be transported around on a pallet truck if you so desire to move it. Um, so and, and it means that you're, you're very close to each machine. So the efficiency there of being able to take a component off any of these four machines and measure it without taking it to an inspection room, that's quite a big benefit, not just for a tool room like this, but actually for your for production facility as well. Yeah, it's been a huge benefit to us. We used to have a centralised inspection area um, where operators would have to take the components to be able to measure them. Now, placing the machines in the fa factory environment, in the shop floor right next to the machine, it reduces travel time. Operators can see the results when they're actually appearing on the machine. Um, so it's created a lot of efficiency savings for us. And how many of these do you have actually in the works, these particular models? We have five machines at the moment and we are just about to add a sixth um, next month. And for those interested in what it can actually measure too, the accuracy of it, what, do, you know, do you know much about that? Yeah, so this machine specced at um, 2.4 microns for its volumetric accuracy. That's in accordance with the ISO specification. Um, so that is used, that's a specification for the 500 millimetre volume it works within. Obviously for the Reliance we work in a very small part of that volume so we can see typically around about a micron repeatability. And it's IP54 rated the cabinet below it so I mean again that, that's a, an assistance isn't it? Yeah it is, yeah absolutely. It's, it's been built with the shop floor in mind which is a really nice thing for a product. Good industrial machine. Tell me about the control that you use here, the Calypso software. Is that easy for your apprentices to get to grips with as well as your engineers? Yeah, it certainly is. So we've now been able to train a lot of our apprentices working here in the tool room so that they're able to manufacture and measure their own parts. And that's been a very quick process for us. 
Um, with it being object based, so very windows orientated, uh, the younger generation are familiar with that type of environment, so they find programming it very easy. You, your business goes a lot beyond the capabilities of this machine, doesn't it? You, you've purchased other machines from Zeiss. Yeah, so we have an enhanced accuracy Prismo machine, um, which was the first machine we bought for our lab area. We've also recently just purchased a Prismo Ultra, which is specified at 0.5 microns within its volume. Um, and we also have a smart proof, non-contact, um, topography machine that's able to measure surfaces.